question. Why do we have education? What is the purpose behind education? If a person came and had a look at the system that we have now to ascertain this, I think that they would say that we educate people to make results, to get a good mark in a test, to do good work in, in that assignment, to get a good job that will pay well. Our schooling system here in Australia relies pretty heavily on various tests and assignments throughout, but inevitably bottles students towards one particular test at the end of secondary school or year 12. In New South Wales, that's called the Higher School Certificate. Your result in this test can affect what tertiary education you can immediately get, and sometimes what job you can get by extension. This is arguably what is called high-stakes testing. Here is what a literature review from the Whitlam Institute had to say on the matter. Considerable evidence may be found in the international literature regarding the negative impact on high-stakes testing on students' well-being, including its potential to impact on students' self-esteem and lower teachers' expectations of children. There is also evidence of negative effects on service delivery and professional parent relationships, stress, anxiety, pressure and fear experienced by students. Further, there is considerable evidence in international literature of the impact that high stakes testing can have on the quality of the learning experience of children. Evidence has emerged that such testing can structure the educational experiences of students in ways that limit the development of the range of skills and literacies needed in the modern world, encouraging low level thinking and promoting outcome measures rather than the intrinsic processes of learning and acquiring knowledge. And also, some evidence has also emerged in the Australian context of a narrowing of the curriculum as a result of high stakes testing. That last one is particularly troubling because it means that a whole lot can be missed out in what is taught simply because teachers know it won't be in the test. And teachers don't have time for anything that's not in the test, so that means that students don't get to know about it either. What is tested has started to influence what is taught. But is this the style of education that we want? Are we wanting to be driven by results, driven solely by goals and focusing so intensely on these particular points? Personally, I think that this is quite unhealthy. It would make a lot more sense to simply teach people how to learn, to teach people basic ideas, thoughts and values, and then ask, well, what do you want to learn? What topics are you interested in finding out about? What do you want to learn how to do? And thankfully, more and more with technology, this approach is becoming possible. But insofar, only in a very informal sense of people being self-taught in their own time. But if we could incorporate this somehow into how education is done, I think that would be a very exciting prospect. To see what the student learns being driven by the student themselves rather than by the teacher that they have, the school that they go to, the country they're in, the language that they speak, the expectations of their parents or even the job prospects involved. Education and learning are beautiful, incredible things that can bring such wonder. Let's bring that back.